So today we're going to talk about oxidative stress, free radicals and antioxidants with me, Katie Rose, the founder of Rising From Nutrition. So you may be thinking, what is oxidative stress? So oxidation is a natural process that happens to all living cells in nature, including our bodies. Oxidation is a result of oxygen producing a change in the cells. So here is a perfect example to explain. It's like a cut apple, oxygen comes into contact with it, causing it to brown. This is oxidation. The further it's exposed to oxygen, the more it browns and starts to rot. So if you look at the picture below and you can see the normal healthy cell, you can see that the one next to it is being attacked by free radicals. This is what happens when oxygen comes in contact with it. The next cell is what it looks like with continued exposure to free radicals that produces oxidative stress in your body. Now don't worry, the death and birth of new cells is a continuous process in our bodies. It's fundamental to keep our bodies healthy. This process of oxidation causes free radicals in our bodies. Let's break it all down. Let's talk about free radicals. What are they? These are what make you old. Here is a normal healthy molecule. It has paired electrons, it's stable. Here is an unhealthy molecule. As you can see, it is missing an electron. This causes the molecule to become unstable. This produces a free radical. So here is your free radical. As you can see, it is not happy. So you may be thinking, what does a free radical actually do? Some cells get damaged and their molecules become free radicals, as we said before. Free radicals are highly reactive chemicals that can harm cells. They are constantly being created through breathing, exercising and digesting food. The main problem is free radicals tend to injure the cell, damaging the DNA. So when a cell's DNA changes, the cells become mutated, which can lead to chronic health problems, including cancer. Once you have a free radical, it starts to steal an electron from a neighbouring molecule, causing that molecule to become a free radical itself. The new free radical starts to steal electrons from the next molecule. This is how a chemical chain reaction is started, producing oxidative stress. So what can cause free radicals? External toxins such as air pollutants, alcohol, cigarette smoke, stress, UV rays and your diet are all massive free radical producers and can easily overwhelm the body's natural defence system. Repeated or prolonged free radical damage, which the body cannot stop, can lead to increased risk of degenerative diseases such as cancer, Alzheimer's, ageing, immune damage, heart disease, and over 90 other diseases. So how can we stop free radicals? Easy, antioxidants. So antioxidants are crucial to our survival. Without them, oxidation would destroy our bodies. Antioxidants are the body's defense mechanism against free radicals. So remember a free radical? The one with the unpaired electron, the unstable one, the angry one. Well, antioxidants are molecules that can safely donate an electron to a free radical, neutralising it, terminating the chain reaction before molecules like DNA are damaged. Once the chain reaction has been stopped, it prevents further cell damage, reducing the risk of degenerative diseases and slows down the ageing process. So you're probably thinking, where can I get my hands on some antioxidants? You can find antioxidants in fruits, vegetables, pulses, seeds, and some supplements. So essential antioxidants. Our lives depend on essential antioxidants, such as vitamin E, vitamin C, beta carotene, and selenium. These are not created by the body so we must source them from foods. The body needs a mix of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants to neutralise free radicals. It has to be a wide variety of food as each type works in different tissues of your body 
and in different parts of your cells. So what if you don't get enough antioxidants? Oxidative stress. As we said before at the beginning, if free radicals surpass the antioxidant capacity in our bodies, oxidative stress will happen. So go and eat your fruit and vegetables. Thank you for watching and I really hope that this helps.